Welcome to Mission Control Houston on a Friday morning Houston time as the team of flight controllers led by Flight Director Royce Renfrew uh, continues to watch over systems aboard the International Space Station. Uh, on board, uh, it's the ending for a very busy and eventful week aboard the International Space Station for the Expedition 36 crew. Uh, the week has started out with preparations for a six and a half hour spacewalk to conduct a variety of tasks that are associated with preparations for a new Russian research module that's going to be launched within the next year uh, to relocate a Wi-Fi antenna for helmet camera views for spacewalkers and replace a camera on the external uh, facility or front porch of the Japanese Kibo laboratory. On Tuesday, Cassidy and Parmitano began that spacewalk on schedule, but after completing their initial task, Parmitano reported water on the back of his head, and Cassidy was able to determine that the amount of water was increasing, uh, so much so that Flight Director David Kors decided to end the spacewalk early. It lasted a total of one hour, 32 minutes, and experts on the ground are continuing to troubleshoot the cause of the serious problem and to work on details of whether or not it might be something that is uh, uh, cross spacesuit or just isolated to this one spacesuit worn, worn by Parmitano. Cassidy and Parmitano talked with reporters from San Francisco and North Dakota, along with Karen Nyberg, and, uh, and they described the situation in their own words. Now, I wanted to talk real briefly about that spacewalk, and I know, Luca, you, were, you had some tense moments there. Do you, can you guys talk a little bit about what happened there? Um, yeah. Um, for I think that for a couple of minutes there, um, maybe more than a couple of minutes, I experienced uh, what it's like to be a goldfish in a fishbowl from the point of view of the, of the goldfish. Uh, so about half an hour into the EVA, 45 minutes maybe, uh, Chris and I were, were ahead on our task, so uh, we were starting our, our third task, and uh, I felt some water on the back of my head, and I realized that uh, it was cold water. It, 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 was a, it was not a normal feeling, so I, I, I told ground. Chris came, came by to, to, give a, to give it a look. He couldn't see anything. He took some pictures of it, but it wasn't until a couple of minutes later that we actually saw the water trickling in the front of the helmet, and then I felt it covering my ears. And uh, at that point, we called the Terminate for the EVA. I started going back to the airlock, and uh, um, the water kept trickling until it completely covered my eyes and my nose. Um, it was really hard to see. I, I couldn't hear anything. It was really hard to communicate. Uh, I, just, I went back using just, uh, um, uh, just memory, basically going back to the airlock until, until I found it. And then uh, went inside, and uh, Chris was there in in, in split seconds to uh, come inside, close the close the airlock, and uh, repressurize. Karen was already there, ready to repressurize. Our Russian colleagues uh, were all there to help, and they, as soon as the uh, as the two compartments were equalized, uh, they doffed, uh, meaning they took off my helmet, uh, wiped my face from all the water, about uh, three po three pounds of water, I would say, and uh, and that was the end of it. Um, for me, the worst part, uh, as, as um, Chris mentioned, I was, I was miserable, but okay. Uh, it's just, imagine walking around with your eyes closed in a fishbowl. Really, that, that, that's what was going on at the, the, at the, palm, at the moment. It's just a very uncomfortable feeling to, to be with your, uh, with your face underwater for all, the, uh, for all that time. Uh, but the reaction of the crew was outstanding, I think. The crew on the ground and the crew on board, uh, Chris really supported me, and I was just uh, lucky to, uh, to be back inside in no time. Also this week, uh, the team continued uh, research aboard the International Space Station, working with several uh, Russian, uh, U.S., uh, Japanese, and European experiments, setting up a new fluorescent microscope and replacing an imagery cable on a Japanese fluids experiment. They also did uh, routine emergency drills. Today, the crew is doing regularly scheduled post-spacewalk suit refresh tasks, but they are performing cooling loop scrubs uh, on Cassidy's suit. And instead of on Parmitano's suit, they're doing it on a backup suit that would be used in an unlikely event that there would be a problem outside the station significant enough to warrant a spacewalk before the troubleshooting work is complete. Uh, that work continues by the Mission Control team here and engineers familiar with the spacesuits on the ground. This weekend, uh, the crew has the, a couple of days off uh, and likely will celebrate the 44th anniversary of the Apollo 11 first moon landing by Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin on Saturday night.
And then next week, the crew will be doing a variety of activities as they uh, prepare for the uh, departure of uh, Progress 50 spacecraft from the uh, Piers docking compartment uh, on uh, Thursday and the launch and arrival of another cargo craft on Saturday.